Chapter 19 A Levite and His Concubine In those days, when there was no king in Israel, a certain Levite was sojourning in the remote parts of the hill country of Ephraim, who took to himself a concubine from Bethlehem in Judah. And his concubine was unfaithful to him, and she went away from him to her father's house at Bethlehem in Judah, and was there some four months. Then her husband arose and went after her, to speak kindly to her and bring her back. He had with him his servant and a couple of donkeys, and she brought him into her father's house. And when the girl's father saw him, he came with joy to meet him. And his father-in-law, the girl's father, made him stay, and he remained with him three days. So they ate and drank and spent the night there. And on the fourth day they arose early in the morning, and he prepared to go. But the girl's father said to his son-in-law, Strengthen your heart with a morsel of bread, and after that you may go. So the two of them sat and ate and drank together. And the girl's father said to the man, Be pleased to spend the night, and let your heart be merry. And when the man rose up to go, his father-in-law pressed him, till he spent the night there again. And on the fifth day he arose early in the morning to depart. And the girl's father said, Strengthen your heart and wait until the day declines. So they ate, and both of them. And when the man and his concubine and his servant rose up to depart, his father-in-law, the girl's father, said to him, Behold, now the day has waned toward the evening. Please spend the night. Behold, the day draws to its close. Lodge here and let your heart be merry. And tomorrow you shall arise early in the morning for your journey and go home. But the man would not spend the night. He rose up and departed and arrived opposite Jebus, that is, Jerusalem. He had with him a couple of saddled donkeys, and his concubine was with him. When they were near Jebus, the day was nearly over, and the servant said to his master, Come now, let us turn aside to this city of the Jebusites and spend the night in it. And his master said to him, We will not turn aside into the city of foreigners who do not belong to the people of Israel, but we will pass on to Gibeh. And he said to his young man, Come and let us draw near to one of these places and spend the night at Gibeh, or at Ramah. So they passed on and went their way. And the sun went down on them near Gibeh, which belongs to Benjamin. And they turned aside there to go in and spend the night at Gibeh. And he went in and sat down in the open square of the city, for no one took them into the house, his house to spend the night. And behold, an old man was coming from his work in the field that e at evening, and the man was from the hill country of Ephraim. And he was sojourning at Gibeah. The men of the place were Benjaminites. And he lifted up his eyes and saw the traveler in the open square of the city. And the old man said, Where are you going? And where did you come from? And he said to him, We are passing from Bethlehem in Judah to the remote parts of the hill country of Ephraim, from which I come. I went to Bethlehem in Judah, and I am going to the house of the Lord, for no one has taken me into his house. We have straw and feed for our donkeys, with bread and wine for me and your female servant and the young man with your servants. There is no lack of anything. And the old man said, Peace be to you. I will care for all your wants, only do not spend the night in the square. So he brought him into his house and gave him the donkey's feed, and they washed their feet and ate and drank. Gibes crime. And they were making their hearts merry, behold, the men of the city, worthless fellows, surrounded the house, beating on the door. And they said to the old man, the master of the house, bring out the man who came into your house, that we may know him. And the man, the master of the house, went out to them and said to them, No, my brothers, do not act so wickedly, since this man has come into my house. Do not do this vile thing. Behold, here are my, here are my virgin daughter and his concubine. Let me bring them out now. Violate them and do with them what seems good to you. But against this man do not do this outrageous thing. But the men would not listen to him. So the man seized his concubine and made her go out to them. And they knew her and abused her all night until the morning. And as the dawn began to break, they let her go. And as morning appeared, the woman came and fell down at the door of the man's house where her master was, until it was light. And her master rose up in the morning 
And when he opened the doors of the house and went out to go to on, went out to go on his way, behold, there was a con- there was his there was his concubine lying at the door of the house with her hands on the threshold. And he said to her, "Get up, let us be going." But there was no answer. Then he put her on the donkey, and the man rose up and went away to his home. And when he entered his house, he took a knife, and taking hold of his concubine, he divided her, limb by limb, into twelve pieces, and sent her throughout all the territory of Israel. And all who saw it said, Such a thing has never happened or been seen from the day of the people of Israel, from the day that the people of Israel came up out of the land of Egypt until this day. Consider it, take counsel, and speak. Chapter 20. Israel's war with the tribe of Benjamin. Then all the people of Israel came out from Dan to Beersheba, including the land of Gilead. And the congregation assembled as one man to the Lord at Mizpah. And the chiefs of all the people of all the tribes of Israel presented themselves in the assembly of the people of God, 400,000 men on foot that drew the sword. Now the people of Benjamin heard that the people of Israel had gone up to Mizpah. And the people of Israel said, Tell us, how did this evil happen? And the Levite, the husband of the woman who was murdered, answered and said, I came to Gebeh, that belongs to Benjamin, I and my concubine, to spend the night. And the leaders of Gebeh rose against me and surrounded the house against me by night. They meant to kill me, and they violated my concubine, and she is dead. So I took hold of my concubine and cut her in pieces and sent her throughout all the country of the inheritance of Israel, for they have committed abomination and outrage in Israel. Behold, you people of Israel, all of you, give your advice and counsel here. And all the people arose as one man, saying, None of us will go to his tent, and none of us will return to his house. But now this is what we will do to Gebeh. We will go up against it by lot, and we will take ten men of a hundred throughout all the tribes of Israel, and a hundred of a thousand, and a thousand of ten thousand, to bring provisions for the people, that when they come, they may repay Gebeh of Benjamin for all the outrage that they have committed in Israel. So all the men of Israel gathered against the city, united as one man, and the tribes of Israel sent men through all the tribe through all the tribe of Benjamin, saying, "What evil is this that has taken place among you? Now therefore, give up the men, the worthless fellows in Gebeh, that we may put them to death and purge evil from Israel." But the Benjaminites would not listen to the voice of their brothers, the people of Israel. Then the people of Benjamin came together out of the cities of Gebeh to go out to battle against the people of Israel. And the people of Benjamin mustered out of their cities on that day 26,000 men who drew the sword besides the inhabitants of Gebeh who mustered 700 chosen men. Among all these were 700 chosen men who were left-handed. Everyone could sling a stone at a hair and not miss. And the men of Israel, apart from Benjamin, mustered 400,000 men who drew the sword. All these were men of war. The people of Israel arose and went up to Bethel and inquired of God, Who shall go up first for us to fight against the people of Benjamin? And the Lord said, Judah shall go up first. Then the people of Israel rose in the morning and encamped against Gebeh. And the men of Israel went out to fight against Benjamin, and the men of Israel drew up the battle line against them at Gebeh. The people of Benjamin came out of Gebet and destroyed on that day 22,000 men of the Israelites. But the people, the men of Israel, took courage and again formed the battle line in the same place where they had formed it on the first day. And the people of Israel went up and wept before the Lord until the evening. And they inquired of the Lord, Shall we again draw near to fight against our brothers, the people of Benjamin? And the Lord said, Go up against them. So the people of Israel came near against the people of Benjamin the second day. And Benjamin went against them out of Gebeh the second day and destroyed 18,000 men of the people of Israel. All these were men who drew the sword. Then all the people of Israel, the whole army, went up and came to Bethel and wept. They sat there before the Lord and fasted that day until evening and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings before the Lord. And the people of Israel inquired of the Lord, for the Ark of the Covenant of God was there in those days. And Phinehas, 
Phineas, the son of Eleazar, son of Aaron, ministered before it in those days, saying, Shall we go out once more to battle against our brothers, the people of Benjamin, or shall we cease? And the Lord said, Go up, for tomorrow I will give them into your hand. So Israel sent, set men in ambush around Gibeah, and the people of Israel went up against the people of Benjamin on the third day and set themselves in array against Gibeah, as at other times. And the people of Benjamin went out against the people and were drawn away from the city. And as at other times they began to strike and kill some of the people in the highways, one of which goes up to Bethel and the other to Gebeh, and in the open country, about thirty men of Israel. And the people of Benjamin said, They are routed before us, as at the first. But the people of Israel said, Let us flee and draw them away from the city to the highways. And all the men of Israel rose up out of their place and set themselves in array at Baal Tamar. And the men of Israel who were in ambush rushed out of their place from Merah Giba. And there they came against Gibe, 10,000 chosen men out of all Israel. And the battle was hard, but the Benjaminites did not know that disaster was close upon them. And the Lord defeated Benjamin before Israel, and the people of Israel destroyed 25,100 men of Benjamin that day. All these were men who drew the sword. So the people of Benjamin saw that they were defeated. The men of Israel gave ground to Benjamin because they trusted the men in ambush whom they had set against Gibeah. Then the men in ambush hurried and rushed against Gibeah. The men in ambush moved out and struck all the city with the edge of the sword. Now the appointed signal between the men of Israel and the men in the main ambush was that when they made a great cloud of smoke rise up out of the city, the men of Israel should turn in battle. Now Benjamin had begun to strike and kill about 30 men of Israel. They said, Surely they are defeated before us, as in the first battle. But when the signal began to rise out of the city in a column of smoke, the Benjaminites looked behind them, and behold, the whole of the city went up in smoke to heaven. Then the men of Israel turned, and the men of Benjamin were dismayed, for they saw that disaster was close upon them. Therefore they turned their backs before the men of Israel in the direction of the wilderness, and the battle overtook them. And those who came out of the cities were destroying them in their midst. Surrounding the Benjaminites, they pursued them and trod them down from Noha, as far as opposite Gebeh on the east. Eighteen thousand men of Benjamin fell, all of them men of valor. And they turned and fled toward the wilderness to the rock of Ramon. Five thousand men of them were cut down in the highways, and they were pursued hard to Gidom. And two thousand men of them were struck down. So all who fell that day of Benjamin were twenty-five thousand men who drew the sword, all of them men of valor. But six hundred men turned and fled toward the wilderness to the rock of Ramon, and remained at the rock of Ramon four months. And the men of Israel turned back against the people of Benjamin and struck them with the edge of the sword, the city, men and beasts, and all that they found. And all the towns that they were found they set on fire. Chapter 21. Wives provided to the tribe of Benjamin. Now the men of Israel had sworn at Mizpah, No one of us shall give his daughter in marriage to Benjamin. And the people came to Bethel and sat there till the evening before God, and they lifted up their voices and wept bitterly. And they said, O Lord, the God of Israel, why has this happened in Israel, that today there should be one tribe lacking in Israel? And the next day the people rose early and built there an altar and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings. And the people of Israel said, Which of all the tribes of Israel did not come up in the assembly of the Lord? For they had taken a great oath concerning him who did not come up to the Lord to Mizpah, saying, He shall surely be put to death. And the people of Israel had compassion for Benjamin, their brother, and said, One tribe is cut off from Israel this day. What shall we do for wives for those who are left, since they have sworn by the Lord that we will not give them any of our daughters for wives? And they said, What one is there of the tribes of Israel that did not come up to the Lord for, to Mizpah? And behold, no one had come to the camp from Jabesh Gilead to the assembly. For when the people were mustered, behold, not one of the inhabitants of Jabesh Gilead was there. 
So the congregation sent 12,000 of their bravest men there and commanded them, Go and strike the inhabitants of Gabesh Gilead with the edge of the sword, also the women and the little ones. This is what you shall do. Every male and every woman that has lain with a male you shall devote to destruction. And they found among the inhabitants of Gabesh, or Jabesh Gilead 400 virgin, young virgins who had not known a man by lying with them. And they brought them to the camp at Shiloh, which is in the land of Canaan. Then the whole congregation sent word to the people of Benjamin who were at the rock of Ramon and proclaimed peace to them. And Benjamin returned at the time, at that time, and they gave them the women whom they had saved alive of the women of Jabesh Gilead, but they were not enough for them. And the people had compassion on Benjamin because the Lord had made a breach in the tribes of Israel. Then the elders of the congregation said, what shall we do for wives for those who are left since the women are destroyed out of Benjamin? And they said, there must be an inheritance for the survivors of Benjamin that a tribe not be blotted out from Israel. Yet we cannot give them wives from our daughters. For the people of Israel had sworn, Cursed be he who gives wives to a Benjamin, gives a wife to Benjamin. So they said, Behold, there is the yearly feast of the Lord at Silo, which is north of Bethel, on the east of the highway that goes up from Bethel to Shechem, and south of Lebanon, Leb Lebonah. And they commanded the people of Benjamin, saying, Go and lie in ambush in the vineyards and watch. If the daughters of Shiloh come out to dance in the dances, and then, then come out to the vineyards and, sna and snatch each man his wife from the daughters of Shiloh, and go to the land of Benjamin. And when their fathers or their brothers come to complain to us, we will say to them, Grant them graciously to us, because we did not take for each man of them his wife in battle. Neither did you give them to them, else you, now, else you would now be guilty. And the people of Benjamin did so, and took their wives according to their number from the dancers whom they carried off. Then they went and returned to, to their inheritance and rebuilt the towns and lived in them. And the people of Israel departed from there at that time, every man to his tribe and family. And they went out from there, every man to his inheritance. In those days there was no king in Israel. Everyone did what was right in his own eyes.